And now for the most crucial part of the golf swing, learning to change directions. The right hand, the right arm, the right shoulder are all in a very dominant position at the top of the backswing. And for nearly every golfer, for a club golfer, good amateur, top class professional, the tendency is for the right side to move forward like this before the downswing takes place. There are lots of ways that we have to try and put that right. What it leads to is an out to in attack or a down the line attack, usually with too steep an attack. It will pull shots left, cut shots away to the right. How do we sort it out? Now let's understand what happens. The golf swing on the back swing is basically this. We turn our body and lift the arms. It's turn and up. What should happen is that we then put that into reverse so that having swung back by going turn up, we should then reverse it by going down turn. What tends to happen is this, turn, lift, turn, down. They go back, up, down, across, so that they're making a loop that way. What we may need to feel is that we make a loop the other way. We may need to feel that having got up here, we're looping the club back behind us. In reality, you are very unlikely to do it, but what that feeling of looping it in behind you is doing is actually stopping you looping the other way. So a very good exercise is to practice swinging the club with your left hand only. And what I would do to cure this over-the-top movement with the right side is to practice, first of all, swinging the club up to the top, and then from there, just bouncing up and down, making that feeling. Now, the correct feeling at the top of the backswing is that the left arm will work away from the right shoulder. So having got to the top there, we're not sticking it onto the shoulder and letting the shoulder push. We're practicing getting the arm away from the shoulder so that the space between left arm and shoulder, right shoulder widens all the time. Always meeting the ball from behind yourself. The more you can work at the left side and the stronger in a way you can make the left side of the body up to the top of the backswing and starting the downswing, the less likely you are to get the right side coming into it. So the feeling to me is that you want to be left side dominant up to the top of the backswing and starting down so that you get into this position and then the right side takes over. And this is where our two-dimensional wrist break comes in. Now, another way I often hear people describing this is by thinking of pulling down, actually making a downward movement like that. I think the danger here is that you can feel that you pull down like that, but you still don't get the club coming from behind you. We have two ways in which the wrists will work. They'll work that way and they'll work that way. So remember, the swing is turn, up, down, turn and try and get rid of that classic fault of turn, up, and turning into it too soon. It's turn, up, down, turn. Difficult to do, but the way ready to perfect your golf swing and learn an inside attack for maximum power.